Wonderful Wells, 82 ball, 124, lights up day three. Yorkshire battled back against Lancashire on day two at Emirates Old Trafford. Debutant Finn Bean with a top score of 42. A poignant moment for him after two years out of the game working as a mechanic. The match is still in the balance. The visitors trailing by 146 at the start of a pivotal day three. Johnny Tattertall and Tom Cola Cadmore were the men in the middle, but the captain would fall early in the day, caught behind off Will Williams for 26. Wait was soon following in his footsteps, nicking off to Bailey for three to lead the visitors six down. Don Bess emerged to join Cola Cadmore in the middle, and the pair managed to find some solidity, the deficit ticking into double figures on their watch. Cola Cadmore had been Yorkshire's brightest light so far, and his good showing brought him a 50 off 121 balls, reached as he pushed Hartley through the offside for a single. Upon reaching his half-ton, Cola Cadmore got a little stuck and would succumb to the pressure, out caught by Hartley off Parkinson, trying to sweep the spinner over the leg side. He almost had a second in the over, the turn too much for Thompson, the stumps and the keeper Lavelle too. Two buys added, taking Yorkshire to 200. Thompson would fall soon enough though, out caught by Villas off the bowling of Bailey for four. And Don Bess's defiant innings would also end at the hands of Bailey, a top edge sent high into the air and easily taken by Balderson to leave Yorkshire down to their last wicket. Lunch was delayed, but the visitors held firm, heading into the break at 233 for nine, 43 behind their hosts. It was stubborn stuff from Code and Patterson after the break, chipping away at the deficit and frustrating the Lancashire bowlers. Parkinson would be the man to finally prize them apart. Code outcaught by Croft for 26. Yorkshire all out for 255, 21 short of parity. It had been a good showing from Yorkshire, who would have been concerned when Cola Cadmore departed with a score 199. But the final wicket duo had been effective, and while the hosts had an advantage, it wasn't the imposing one they'd hoped for. Lancashire made a bright start though. Luke Wells off to a flyer with some quick early boundaries, including a collection of sixes. That attacking approach saw Lancashire bring up the 50 at a rate of a run of all. Wells continued to take on the Yorkshire attack. Best reversed for four before the over was done. And after facing just 29 deliveries, he'd go to his 50. Electric batting had given Lancashire some authority. It was an effective tactic for the hosts. They were up to 80 from 12 overs without loss when they headed in for T. Their lead now 101. Wells couldn't be stopped, maintaining his ballistic rate after the break, as Lancashire really started to stamp their authority on this match. A hundred runs easily breezed past, and Wells went looking for even more. It was a Roses knock that would go down in history. Just 65 balls required for Wells to reach his hundred, a third of the season, a 22nd in his career, and there can't have been many better. Jennings two without a second consecutive landmark total to his haul, 50 up with a crunching blow, Wait skewered for six over the leg side. Wells would finally fall for a quite sensational 124 from 82 balls, when he looked to clear the ropes, but picked out Frayne off the bowling of Don Bess. He'd provide the second wicket too. Josh Bahannon came down the track, missed the ball, and Lavelle whipped the bails off. The third came from an unlikely source. Johnny Tattersall took the gloves and pads off and saw Keaton Jennings depart for 68, caught by a diving Ben Code, a maiden wicket for the Yorkshire keeper and captain. Bad light would force them off soon after, and they couldn't return as dark clouds took up residence over Emirates Old Trafford. Lancashire had finished the day on 203 for three, giving them a 224 run lead heading into the final day. But either side's hopes of victory are drifting with at least 10 wickets required. But these two will fight tooth and nail all the way to the line.